What is up guys, it is Nick. We are back on Black Desert and we're going to be continuing the Valk today. Uh, so we need to reveal Russia's secret identity. I wanted to slaughter those guys real quick. Um, yeah, I am recording this late at night, so if there's some points where I sound a little quiet, that is why. Because I am recording this late at night, don't want to wake up anybody else in my house. And so, yeah, if any, if at any point I sound quiet, that's why. Uh, so now we need to just slay Gaius. Um, I guess just pretty much skipping everything there. Did I? I can't remember what I did in the last episode of this. We had the the stuff for the last character, and now we're back on Volk because we want. I want to continue playing Volk. I do like the characters so far. I do want to get to a stable stage that we can um, do some skills. Look at some skills in an episode, but for right now, we're just kind of taking it chill and progressing through the game on a nice, gentle pace. I'm sure we'll get to a more speedy, rapid pace once we hit mid-game, but for now, I'm just kind of taking it slow and having fun with this character because we're pushing uh, Konoichi, so because we're pushing Konoichi, I'm kind of just decided to take this character nice and slow and, uh, you know, go from there because we, we don't need to rush this character to get to Awakening before it's released, because the Awakening is already released. So that's kind of a nice... Okay, put the thing away. There we go. Now let me autopath. Okay, that was being really weird. It wouldn't let me autopath. Um, but yeah, that's what we'll end up um, doing here. Is we're, this one's probably going to be, I don't know, 10, 15 episodes while the Konoichi ends up being like six up ep seven episodes before we hit awakening on it so yeah that's just kind of the premise that we're going under but not quite sure what we're going to do in this episode obviously we're going to slay gaius um and then i guess i'll probably just keep it here and we'll uh we'll progress through and see what we can do uh obviously i want to get this video out to you guys uh like right now it's 2 30 a.m uh, and i changed my upload schedule to 8 a.m so Obviously, I need to uh, uh, get this video out, and I don't want to be up too late. So, yeah, this will probably be a little bit more of the older, way older style where I do very little cuts um, and just talk to you guys. And then tomorrow, uh, I believe I have like the whole day to work on videos and whatnot. So that's what I'll be doing. Doing then is I'll be taking a bunch of time and working on videos. And so they'll go back to the normal format. But in order to get a video out, as you guys are watching it at 8 a.m., uh, I needed to do this video. Um, I want to take days off, obviously, throughout the week. But I want to have... Uh, I don't want to take, like, two or three days in a row off. I want to take, like, one or two days. Or not one day off and then upload again, even if it's, like upload day off upload day off upload i'd rather that than upload day off day off upload type of thing if that makes sense that's far what i would prefer and so hopefully i can stick with that schedule that's the goal but obviously i'm sure there'll be a day where i go two days without uploading but you guys know the goal at this point of what i'm trying to do i'm just gonna wail on guy up in the back here probably grab a little bit of health there and there's Gaia down so it feels a little bit weirder playing on the Volk here without the super OP weapon uh, compared to playing on the Konoichi but I kind of like kind of like the slower paced more methodical combat that we have to play with on this character because I don't have the OP weapon uh, with the OP weapon you can kind of just rush and it's pretty freaking easy to just push quickly i do want to make i'll probably just do it on my playstation because obviously i haven't done much on playstation um probably whenever they release the next character on playstation i'll just do it there and we'll do like a full kind of start from basic to uh luck progression with zero dollars type of thing 
with a new character. But, uh, gotta wait for a new character on PlayStation 4. I think that's probably the best time to do it. Alright. Kill them. Kill the Goblin Thrower. Let's grab the Flower. I'll probably just try to get us to the cat, like, uh, through the castle. Um, that's pretty much what's coming up here is the castle area. Uh, depending on how long that takes, like I said, it's pretty late, so I don't want to make this video like a 40 minute or, um, but obviously the, the normal like 20 to 30 minute episode, that's what we're aiming for. Alright, so let's grab this. We'll go through our inventory here in a second. Um, don't need to go through it yet. I'm going to do this side stuff first and then we'll go through it. Well, we can go through it now. Um, so normally here, this is where you would, um, equip a lot of the, the side stuff here, like these, uh, long swords. I think you would equip the, yeah, you do the as well at this point, and then obviously you could upgrade as you see fit going forward, but as of right now, obviously we went ahead and bought the ultimate steed, which is what I would suggest to anybody. It's really cheap. So I would suggest just picking that up whether no matter what you're doing. And then obviously we get two binder earrings and a binder necklace. We'll look to improve upon those at a later date. Probably just picking up bears, basic bears. But for now, um, I, until you hit like the 30s or 40s, you really don't have to worry about picking up gear because the gear that the game gives you is pretty competitive. And then at that point, we'll look into better gear. Alright, so let's go ahead and complete this. This is always the weirdest quest because you got to wait for her to load in. They really should just edit this to have her walk down here and then stand here because it takes about that long for her to load in. Grab that quest. And let's go steal the documents. These quests right here, I, they're always they're kind of the weirder quests. Um, they just I don't I don't know they're just kind of weird quests to me. Like they have you go and burn one tent. It says tents, but it's literally just one tent. And then you recover the documents from the commander, which you just pickpocket him in a really weird way. So I I don't know. This quest has just always been kind of weird to me. Kill that. I was very happy, so I tweeted out, and I was like, okay, I, this, can I, there we go. Um, I tweeted out, and I said thank you uh, to everybody for 10k, and I tagged, I, you know, I said it couldn't been, couldn't have got here without play that Black Desert, and they actually liked the tweet, so that was pretty cool. Um, I wish, you know, they'd give me affiliate status, but... Um, it was cool to get the, the like, and the, I, I believe... I think they said, yeah, they said congratulations to me, uh, which was really cool. Because um, obviously I really couldn't have done it without this game. There was no way I would have got there without this game. So even though I'm sad that they won't affiliate me, um, I'm still, you know, very grateful for their game. And I still, I love this game. Okay, so we got that all done. And out we go. I normally, you know, like, I usually like to farm these areas, which we'll do um, in the future, is we'll farm these areas on this character as we go through them, but this area is really shit for experience. It's really bad. Um, it, it, it's kind of decent in the sense that, like, okay, you get decent per kill, but there just isn't a lot to kill, so in turn it turns into bad experience, so... It's really not worth doing. So we'll grab this quest. And I believe... Oh, I gotta grab one more from her. Should be good. Okay. Let me make sure... I gotta move my little sake bottle. There we go. It was, blo it's blocked. It was blocking my timer uh, to see how long I've been recording for. I've been drinking a little bit of sake recently. Uh, it's called, let's see, it's called Snow Tazai Snow Maiden. Shit is so good. 
It's a lot stronger than I thought it would be, but man, is it good. I like it a lot. Surprisingly, I found it at Costco while I was looking for a replacement for my Pinot Grigio that I had. Um, and yeah, it is some good sake. I love it. Ooh, I don't do that much damage to these guys. Three hits? It's a little bit more than I thought it would be. See, at this point, I would normally suggest, like, investing a little bit in a better weapon. Uh, we'll stick with this weapon for a little bit here, but in normal cases, you're going to be able to get to, like, a couple hundred thousand and invest in a decent weapon uh, that's better than what you're going to get here. But I'm going to grind it out a little bit with the crappier weapon before we splurge on a better weapon. Um... Because I'll show the central market here in a second. Once it gets done with this loading screen, I'll go over the central market. And kind of, I don't know, I have my mapped out how I want to upgrade it. Without, you know, obviously like, oh, you're just going to randomly have 15 million when you're level 18. Because that's really not, it's not the normal progression route <laughs> that you're doing. Okay. So, central market, main... It's short sword, right? Uh, no, it's not. It's long sword. Okay. So probably what I will do is go to Aswell. See, I'd like to go in like the 11 to 12 range, but realistically, a plus 10, it's a lot better. You know, it's almost double as good. Um, and it's only 4, what, 4-3? Four, three. It's 4-3, four, three, the cheapest one. No, 4-1. Actually, there's a lot of these up. 3-8. Uh, so for 3-8, you can double it. And really, honestly, 3-8 is not that hard to get. Um, you should be getting login rewards and all of that different stuff. As well as on top of that, picking up, you know, logins and gold bars from completing side quests. Obviously, I'm not completing them, but... In the normal scheme of playthrough on a character, you should be doing them if you don't have, like, stores of money in the bank to upgrade a character. So, four million, you can usually achieve it by this point. It's really not that hard at all. It's kind of an easy milestone to aim for, and then it allows you to get a pretty decent weapon. Obviously, you can bump it down a little bit. And get into like the two million dollar range and it's like a 1.5 times upgrade over the ultimate steed i love the ultimate steed it's you know it's 28 to 32 damage it can really power you through the beginning of the game um but you can upgrade oh my god you can upgrade to relatively comp like uh not comparable but relatively improved gear over it like wildly improved like i said 1.5 to two times is bet good for a reasonably good price so that's why i kind of i don't know if i if i didn't do these videos i would just forego the ultimate steed but i always like to make sure to mention it because it really is cost effectively good for the beginning of the game it low-key is kind of op for the start of the game for the price because there's no reason there's absolutely no way on earth you don't have enough money to buy it. And it's super common. So there's always some up. No matter, like, if it's a new character or whatever, just give it, like, a day. And there'll be one up for you. Alright. Let's get out of here. Beetle. As my game froze, Beetle, talk to me, talk to me, brother. I remember with this new one, or whenever they changed this to where you had to interact with him twice, he used to just give you the quest, but then they updated it, and so now you have to talk to him like that a second time. Um, I remember I cleared this out, like, completely before I realized that his quest was a little bit different now, and, uh, or, well, like, accepting the quest was a little bit different, so I remember I like cleared this out and I had to run all the way back grab it and then wait for respawns because these guys don't respawn at a super high rate which sucks 
I'll probably mention it in the... Um, I'll mention it in the next uh, patch notes video because I think those those are like my most viewed videos. So that's where I'd like to grab uh, the largest audience that can answer this question. And that is, is I just want to know kind of what content you guys would like to see. I know I do these type of videos. Can I put this away just so I can run? Um, I know I do these types of videos where I just play through the game. We have some good times and, and then that's it. But I feel like probably there's something you guys in particular would love to see obviously you guys have to realize that my knowledge of this is not where it probably should be so i can't be doing like hardcore in-depth guides but if there's anything in particular you would like to see i am all ears because um obviously i'm gonna play new characters on playstation 4 as they come out and uh, give opinions and stuff like that on them but overall i'm gonna need content uh because eventually we're gonna run out of characters to just play through obviously so would like any opinions that we can and i would also like to tell you guys i'll say it later but i did get a thumbnail specially made for the lawn reboot it looks completely different than any of my other thumbnails but um, I got it in a Final Fantasy XIV online. So if we do go back to Final Fantasy XIV, I will have a thumbnail for that that looks different, which I think is good for that. But the uh, the lawn one, I got made with it just because it was for two thumbnails. Uh, so yeah, lawn reboot will be returning. Uh, I had some people ask me about that, and yes... Lon will be returning. Just let me finish up these first. Um, so I'm hoping to reboot Lon. I might reboot Lon like uh, March 1st or something like that. But I do promise you Lon reboot is coming. As well as Tamer reboot. Uh, I've been asked a couple times about Tamer reboot. So that's coming as well. Um, they'll come out just like normal episodes. But uh, yeah will be rebooting those characters. Alright, so now we need to go to the mine area, and that's probably the last area we'll do. Um, I'll probably cut out Heidel. I'll try to do that on my own, save you guys all that dialogue in Heidel, and then we'll start, uh, we'll start the next episode uh, with, like, that goblin area. Or whatever imp area. I think it's an. I think they're imps. You guys know what area that the farm. Whatever the thing is at uh, that farm that we're going to collect the debt for. That's where we'll start next episode. Because I don't think at this point, if you would like to hear me, uh, at some point I'm going to go back and do a, a reading one. But at this point, I don't want to do it. But. Uh, yeah, at some point, I think you guys could just go back and watch a video if you want to see me read all the dialogue, because I've done it like twice, I think, or three times. So, yeah, um, plenty of chances for you guys to go back and do that. Um, I do want to finish off Witch and what my, or not my Wizard, but my Witch to level 56. I need to do that. I don't know what I'm going to do that in. I might just do it in a live stream or something like that. Um, but we also need to finish her off. So grab this. Alright. I like this area. This is actually a pretty decent area to farm up uh, a little experience. The, the mob density, obviously not the like craziest or greatest, but it's not bad. And I thought Valk might be... I just like the look of Valk, and I liked a lot of her outfits. Which, if you guys don't know, on this channel, I care about a lot... Like, on Dark Souls, it was always Fashion Souls. I needed my character to look good before they performed good. Looking good was the battle that I cared most about. But, point is, is that... I did look through outfits for all the characters and stuff like that. And Valk has a lot that I like. Um, but I don't think I like Valk more than Konoichi, so 
And I haven't... I need to go back and play Lawn. I really liked Lawn when I played her. But we need to get to a more stable state for her. So, yeah. I'm looking forward to getting back to her to see. Because I do want to have a secondary character. Obviously, I want to take Sork a little more seriously and progress her. Maybe get her to level 62 or whatever. But, um... I want to have a second dairy character at the end of the day. Because, like, obviously I know I can eliminate some characters. I don't like, uh... What am I trying to say? I don't like the Fist characters. Though I will do a Mystic character playthrough eventually here. But I don't like Mystic. I don't really like Shy. Uh, I never really finished Shy because I didn't like Shy. Um, yeah, there's just uh, obviously characters that you're not going to like. And so... I want to make sure I pick a secondary character that I really do like. Ranger might be that character. When we get to Ranger and I can put on that outfit that I really love, Ranger might be it. Not gonna lie. Ranger might be the move. Alright, so we're gonna repair this. Repair. And repair. All right, so we'll kill a couple more guys on our way back, but that'll we'll call it an episode here. Uh, got a little bit done in this episode. Talk through some stuff with you guys. Uh, but like I said, going forward, we'll have more editing and stuff like that. It won't be as old school as this episode was, but like I said, I wanted to get the episode out, so I decided to cut a little bit of production value by having a little bit of dead time where I just talked randomly at you guys um, so I could get it out because obviously I'm cutting a lot it takes extra time to record and it takes extra time to edit it this way you guys get a video and I get a good night of sleep before I get up tomorrow morning what the what the mine imp running away from me all right, so, yeah, uh, let's get to, hold on, let's get to level 19. That shouldn't take too much. Uh, no, it won't take long at all. Come here, my nymphs. One more. Level 19. All right, that's gonna do it, guys. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Drop a like if you did, subscribe if you haven't. Check back tomorrow morning at the same time, and I'll see you guys then. Peace. Cause when it's all over.